So I made a video two weeks ago talking about my seven day progression oh my God, and it really blew up. 400k views. Are you being serious right now? Like I didn't even expect to get over 10k. Like it was just some stupid video I made, but to everybody that enjoyed it and stuff because of it, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I want to explain all my keybinds that I decided to do to make the switch to PC. I'm going really in depth. I'm really kind of explaining everything that I'm doing in it, the reasons behind it. So I'll get that covered. Anyways, here's a clip of what's to come on the channel this coming week. I hope you guys are hyped. This is the Super Ramp Rush V2 with floors. I'm getting it all edited out. But anyways, these are the keybinds I made the switch to PC with. I hope you guys enjoy. I really try to elaborate on everything. Here's my keybinds. All right, so these are my mouse binds. Um, I'm using a Logitech G502. I know a lot of other streamers use this. It's a really good mouse, but the reason I picked it was because it had a lot of really good mouse button options. Is you have two on the side, as you can see right here on the screen, and you have two more right here, and then you have two or one right here, and then you also can side click your mouse wheel. So that is also a huge plus. So I'm using the in-game uh, auto gain detection. I think it's best to use uh, the computer memory to operate your mouse because this right here is gonna be your mouse memory. So if you like, if you're unplugging your mouse a lot and you wanna put another PC, uh, this is what you use. But um, so in-game auto detection, scroll over here, have one profile. So this right here is my stare button. This is my walls and this is my floors. This is my second weapon slot and this is my third weapon slot. So when I'm dull pumping, this is my first shotgun. That's my second shotgun. I like to use it on my mouse because it's easier to swap it at the good timing, I guess. But then my two, my side clicker buttons are going to be my, uh, the right and left of the mouse wheel. Like you can go right and left on it. So that's gonna be my, uh, last two slots in my weapons. So it's like my healing basically, or like my sniper. And then right and left click. And then this right here is my auto run button on my mouse. And I'll go into the more specifics, but um, yeah, DPI is just like stupid like lighting stuff. I don't know. Um, but specifically, the reason I kept all my building on my mouse was because I didn't want to restrict my movement when I'm building. Like, I don't want to have to worry about not being able to move right or left. So, like I always want to have my fingers on W. ASD. I don't want, I want them ever off when I'm building. So that's why I chose to have one building on my mouse and it's been working out pretty good so far, but I play on 400 DPI. Uh, the reason I have 200, 300, 400 here is because I like to have my buttons light up, but it's not lighting up for some reason, which is kind of weird. See now it's lighting up. It doesn't do that all the time, but yeah, so I keep on 400 DPI and I have the three mouse levels. So like it lights up, but it's not lighting up for some reason. It's kind of weird, but, uh, yeah, also right here, you see where it says acceleration make sure that shit's off man because mouse acceleration is cancer for pc gaming so make sure that's off and then keep the mouse on the factory default preset don't configure it to your mouse pad and that's about that covers about everything so uh yeah so 400 dpi those are our mouse binds let's go one more time stair wall floor third weapon slot second weapon slot uh, fourth weapon slot, fifth weapon slot, auto run, uh, shoot, aim. So yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, but also make sure that your mouse acceleration is on true for the in-game settings because for everybody who loads up Fortnite, it's going to be false for everybody. So you need to go into your uh, game user settings in Fortnite and enable it to true. So it is disabled because it's gonna be false all right guys so these are my keybinds basically wasd as everybody has it jump see these, these numbers right here just ignore just ignore them for a second i'm gonna show you a clip of why i had this binded here so jump uh sprints left shift auto run is my mouse crouch is left alt fire mouse mouse reloads are use is f z c Harvesting tool is Z. Weapon slot two is H. Well, that's my, these are my mouse, but that's a C for that. Weapon slot one. It's my mouse. 
That's off. Uh, mouse, mouse, mouse. Q's roof. Traps one. Place buildings. Mouse. Uh, this is keyboard, so two and three. Uh, change band material, that's pretty basic. Everything else is pretty basic from right here. Okay, inventory is four. And the edit building is E. I like to have my editing close to my uh, movement because I think editing is really important. So I wanted to make it E or Q. But Q took roofs, so... So let me show you why I have five, six, and seven binded right here. Check it out. So this is why I have five, six, seven on my keyboard. Binded to stand, shoot, crouch. Watch this. Basically, you, you, hold, you hold right click, and then you do this. It's pretty cheap, right? And here is my sensitivity settings for Fortnite. 0.08, 400 DPI, 0.45, 0 0.55. Um, toggle sprint, I've been moving, I've been trying on and off toggle sprint, but I usually just keep it off to be honest. I don't, it's, it just messes up a lot. And yeah, that's about it for that. And I do not do custom resolution. I do not tamper with uh, color, blindness, color blindness or brightness calibration. It's all default, but this is my sensitivity. All right, so to elaborate more on my sensitivity, I want to show you guys my mouse pad, kind of what I have set up. Basically, I played on the 800 DPI back when I made the video, but I recently went down to 400 DPI because I was having a lot of trouble aiming and hitting my shots. So I bought this like double XL mouse pad, which expands the entire length of my desk. And that's very nice to have all that free space to aim with. Um, I've been hitting a lot more shots. I've been getting really good at flick shots. I'm gonna have a video kind of like explaining how I got how I've been practicing it but uh basically low sensitivity is very nice I have really been enjoying it 400 dpi 0.08 in game it's nice to do be it's better like I found it was so much easier to like hit shots like in shotgun battles having lower dpi that's just me though personally but I I kind of been trying to like tilt my keyboard a little bit so when I play Fortnite uh, I noticed that putting a little tilt on it is definitely like a little bit better to play with and then all the mouse space, and then this is the monitor setup I have. This is OBS right there, Fortnite, and then my uh, PC temps, if anybody's curious about that. The Low Sense Master Race. I mean, I don't know if it's a Master Race, but I really enjoy it. It helps a lot with a uh, better aim, but but yeah, this is my overview on that. Just wanted to reiterate on the race support. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Love the feedback. I love the positivity. Been trying out this new game called Realm Royale. I think it's a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying it. The mage is a little bit overpowered in my opinion, but let me know if you guys want to see any gameplay of this game on the channel. I'm not really sure if I want to do it yet on this channel at least, but yeah, I've been trying it out. It seems like a lot of fun. Could be a good game. Who knows? Anyways, peace out guys.